Oklahoma ranks first in the nation in child abuse deaths and the number of women incarcerated per capita. The state also has high rates of teen births, divorce, and domestic violence. These startling statistics are why the Oklahoma Women's Coalition is hosting the upcoming Advocacy 2011. Joining me today to talk about the event is Donna Lawrence and Debbie Yokel. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the coalition. Sure. Tell us about it. Sure. The Oklahoma Coalition was started two years ago as an effort to reverse Oklahoma statistic as the third worst state for women. It's something we should all be embarrassed about and want to change. So we are a statewide nonpartisan organization that's really a grassroots effort to get thousands of Oklahomans involved in trying to reverse these trends. That's great. Good, good. So who can be involved with the coalition? Well, anyone. We have uh, primarily women are members, but men are members as well. We have, Angie, over 500 members statewide right now. And we have 35 organizations that have signed up to be members as well. So all ages. You know, Republicans and Democrats, that's what's wonderful because of the fact that we're nonpartisan. We work to find issues that Republicans and, and Democrats and independents can agree on. That is great. Um, now, you're hoping, obviously, that lawmakers will hear your voices on issues next month. In fact, the governor plans to make a proclamation. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? she does. It will be uh, April 12th, will be declared Girls and Women's Day in Oklahoma. And uh, we're very excited about this advocacy day that we're one of the main. Um, things that we would like to do is educate women on how to make their voice heard in the state because we've heard from many people that are uh, out at the Capitol that the bills will come onto the floor and, and for consideration and they don't hear anything from from yeah. from their constituents. And we think that that it needs to be changed. We think that our voices need to be heard more. So we're going to meet at the Jim Thorpe Association on the morning of April 12th at 8 o'clock if you're early bird and want to have coffee and, mm -hmm. and network a bit. And then Dr. Terry Klein um, is going to come and speak to us about women's health, which is one of the, we rank very low in, in the, our state compared to other states in, in how our women's health is reflected. It's a bit intimidating to go out to the Capitol and mm -hmm. look at those marble halls and those offices mm -hmm. and everybody rushing around mm -hmm. and, and you think, okay, now what do I do? Well, we're gonna tell people what to do. We're gonna equip them so that the women feel like when they go in, they know their talking points, they know exactly what they wanna say and we're presenting a united voice. Very nice. Now, obviously, you just kind of gave us a quick preview about mm -hmm. it, but it is a two-day event. Is that right? Well, the night before, Donna, do you want to talk about sure. the leading ladies? We are hosting a reception honoring what we're calling the leading ladies. These are women in public office throughout the state. You know, unfortunately, Oklahoma ranks 49th in the, in the country for the number of women in our state legislature. We only have 19 representatives and senators out of 151 seats. So we are low in that. However, we have over a thousand women who are in elected office throughout the state. So we've invited them and a guest and our other um, people from across the state that are attending our event to come to a reception. We're also inviting all legislators that evening before at the Oklahoma History Center. Very nice, very nice. Yes. And so for more information um, about how to attend the event and then just get involved in the coalition, what's your website? Our coalition website is oklahomawomenscoalition.org. Okay, wonderful. Sure. Obviously a great cause. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.